Got it. We can go with great. <laughs> Sarcasm. Pizza right. and more pizza. Oh, perfect. All right, cool. Uh, so go to top. I should not do that accent while I do the introduction. Hello. Uh, thank you guys all very much for coming to tonight's production of Pretend to See Williams. Uh, we're very happy you're here. Tonight's production is going to be completely improvised and inspired by the works of Tennessee Williams. Tonight, as we draw our cards, you will help us pick our characters. Uh, a couple things to keep in mind. One, we will not be these exact characters. We'll be inspired by them. You will recognize them in our performances, but they will not be that character in a different play. Uh, another thing to keep, uh, keep in mind is some of this might be funny, but this also is an imitation of a Tennessee Williams play, which is often not very funny. That's often pretty sad, so be expecting that. Also know that everyone here on stage uh, it, uh, might be playing characters that do not actually represent how they look. I may be playing a young kid, and I don't look like a young kid anymore, sadly. Uh, so be prepared for that as well. Uh, have I covered everything? It feel good. All right, awesome. So at this point, uh, we're going to have someone in the audience draw a character down the road, uh, down the line for us, and we will start with Leo's character. Uh, Leo, you are Tom. Tom Wingfield, right? Great. Uh, oh, there's two Tom Wingfields in here. Oh, oh, two, oh two Toms. <laughs> two Tom. And, and you are Mitch. Ooh. Okay, sweet. Uh... Big Daddy? <laughs> Amanda Weinmuller from uh, Summer and Smoke. And Wait, it should be Alma. Amanda Sorry. is not. Oh, it should be. Yeah, Alma. this got mishmash strong. Oh, it did. So am I playing Amanda or Alma? Because they are very different. Play Alma. <laughs> uh, play Alma. We will get the, the right cards. Hopefully we'll have that. <laughs> There's another Amanda, too. All right. Um, Stella. Stella. Great. And if any of these we get someone that we got last night, just let me know. Um, Brick. All right. Sweet. Okay. And I'm John Buchanan. All right, so now we're going to recap which uh, characters we have drawn and explain to you the play they're in and how they interpret the world through their points of view. All right, and we'll start down there, Leah. I'll be playing, I'll be doing uh, Tom Wingfield. Uh, from the Glass Menagerie, I'm creative, longing, conflicted between something he loves and his dreams. And I will be Harold Mitch Mitchell from A Streetcar Named Desire, and I'm longing, pathetic, and cowardly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Big Daddy from Cat on the Hot Tim Road, and I'm controlling a womanizer and a bully. I'll be playing Stella from Streetcar Named Desire. She is passionate, selfish, lives for the now, blind spot for love. I am Brick from Cat on a Hot Tin Roof, who is brooding, nostalgic, and in denial. And I am John Buchanan from Summer and Smoke. I am primarily physical, uh, pleasure-seeking, and brilliant. Uh, that's typecasting. Uh, <laughs> one other thing to keep in mind is if anyone drew a card that was uh, not their same gender, they'll be playing their gender's version of that character. Alright, so uh, 
Oh, Tom. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Uh, great. So, uh, everyone, uh, have a good time. Thank you very much for coming. We'll get started in just one moment. Oh, yes, sir. I'm so, I apologize. Wait, sorry, sorry. I went to put them back up for a second. Sorry. Uh, yep. Uh, as people entered the lobby today, they wrote down potential titles that sounded like a Tennessee Williams play. Uh, I have looked at that list and selected one. This will be them hearing it for the very first time. So what I need from you guys is, the, uh, uh, normally, I would have this already, is the name of a play that sounds like a Tennessee Williams play. Anyone. Anybody. Normally, Anybody? I'll have it written down. No. No. Uh, <laughs> if I could only find her. If I could only find her. Okay. Uh, 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 you will now see uh, Tennessee Williams' uh, hidden classic, If I Could Only Find Her. All right. We'll get started in just one moment. Thank you very much. Oh, we keep Yeah. Uh, when we get backstage, put them in the hat. So we have them for tomorrow. Yes, Too particular. Well, I guess we're having eggs. I guess that's what I get, isn't it? Uh -huh. I say whatever you want, I get eggs for dinner. Well, you know I do like eggs. Any ham in your eggs? Oh, yeah, I guess so. Damned. Didn't you hit the store earlier today? Must have forgotten. Must have. I went to get my hair done down at old Maggie's place. Oh, how is old Maggie? She's doing good. She's doing good still. And my find with the baddest scissors. You know. And Maggie and I got to talking about Jacob and old times and you know how that is, so I guess I just forgot to go to the market. Jacob, huh? Yeah. Didn't even know he was back in town. Yeah, he's back in town again. You know Jacob, he flies in and out. Yeah, he sure does. Oh, I remember Jacob in high school, man, in that leather jacket of his, looking hooked. Oh. Mighty good, but I tell you what, I am happy with the one I settled down with. Yeah, I guess that's the way life goes, isn't it? Yes, so. Jacob. Well, you don't have to keep saying his name, you know. Well, you haven't commented on my hair yet. Oh, uh, yeah, it looks fine. It looks fine. Fine. What, did you, you curl it or cut it, or what'd you do with it? Yes, I curled it in and cut it. Well, it looks good. Put a little bit of color in it. You know how Maggie is. Yeah, I do know how Maggie is. She likes to be fancy like that. Yeah. How are things going down at the factory? Maggie uh, said they were talking about promotion. Yeah, they are always talking about promotion. Funny thing is, they never get around to it. I tell you what, Dorothy, I could spend my whole life at that place and never move anywhere. Well. Jacob's back in town. Oh, who's that? Yeah, you keep talking about that. <laughs> well, hello, how do you do? Hi, Tom. 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 Hi,
to a wee. Oh, hello, you're looking mighty fancy today. Listen, oh, yeah. uh, when you were at the beauty parlor earlier, I just, I noticed that you gave the bracelet. Oh, well, thank you. I would hate to lose that. It was no, so I... lovely and precious. And I've had it ever since high school. <sighs> well, would you like to come oh. in? We were just discussing what we were going to do for supper. Oh, only if I'm not a bother. I, I, I don't, don't want to get cold. Not at all. Looks like you're in the middle of something. Mm. I was just telling him what a nice job you did on my hair the day. And Maggie? She is... Yes, nice to meet you again. <laughs> I was telling him how Jacob's in town and how you were talking about promotions at the factory. Oh, yes. Uh, yeah, there's some promotions at the factory. I mean... Oh, I just, just keep, I hear so much at the beauty parlor and everybody just kind of gives me their troubles and their woes and I try and give mm -hmm. back in beauty and make them feel special on the outside even if it doesn't match on the inside. <laughs> so, well, you do a wonderful job and it just puts so much hope in my heart to hear you talking about promotions at the factory because, you know, he's been there. He's been there for quite some time now, yeah, and he, he should be uh, in line. Oh. oh, oh, man, who brought the moan into my afternoon? Oh. <laughs> well, hello, Maggie. Hi, Stan. <laughs> hello. Stan, are you just going to hang out there at the top of the stairs, or are you going to come down and greet our visitor? Well, I was just hoping there'd be eggs or something cooking. Well, I thought I had some eggs in the fridge, but wouldn't you know it that between last night when we went to bed and now, well, there's that, no more eggs. There was also talk of uh, some ham, but that turned out to be just a rumor. <laughs> Tell you what, I'll head, I'll head on down to Farmer Hickok's. Maybe I'll just snag some eggs. That would be <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> you know what, Stan? Why don't you just wait right there at the top of the steps? I'll head down there and pick up some eggs and some ham. Oh, look at you being all responsible. Somebody's got to. <laughs> Very kind of you. Dorothy, I'm, I'm a little part. Do you want to oh, oh, if I have a absolutely. absolutely. I was just tearing up the town last night with Jacob. Really? <laughs> oh, yeah, I yeah. was so bold, Stan. <laughs> well, just... life's meant to be lived. Who's meant to be drunk? Women meant to be kissed? Jacob's oh. <laughs> <laughs> And how is Jacob? I haven't seen him since, uh, well, since high school. Oh, oh he was talking you? about you. Uh-huh. Came over to see my little girl was doing. Oh, Ma. You'd have to come and check up on me. Oh, uh, Mrs. McIntosh? I see. I missed you. Here you are, Ray. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, how do you do, Mrs. McIntosh? Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. Mm hmm I was just I was just inquiring because Dorothy left a bracelet at, at the salon and I I had to drop it off myself. It, I wouldn't want her losing it, Mama. The one I've had since high school, she really is a dear bringing that to me. I guess I got it all in a kerfuffle because, you know, I haven't seen Jacob since high school and she was telling me how he's back in town. Oh yeah, he's back in town. Yes, Mama. <laughs> You keep talking about Jacob. I, I got half a mind to think there's something on your mind. Oh no, we haven't we haven't spoken since high school. You know, he's always flitting in and out and well I got myself a sturdy, fine man that stay here and takes care of the house. That's true, but sturdy's just another word for boring. And uh you don't want anything to do with Jacob, do you, oh, sweetheart? I, no, I don't want anything to do with Jacob, Mama. But I, I did want to inquire if maybe Jacob and Stan were going to be going out like they used to. Remember when we were all in high school? And oh, yeah. We was the wildest pack in the bunch, weren't we, Maggie? <laughs> me and Jacob, you and Stan. Oh. You and Jacob. So you guys are telling me things that I suspected before. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, begging your pardon, Mrs. McIntyre. It wasn't too crazy, you know, kids. Oh, no, Mama. Here. I always came home right on time. Never learned anything without making any mistakes. But it depends on the quality of those mistakes. Well, you gotta try them out to see how good they are first. I don't know, that seems like a pretty brutal way to find out. I'll think a plant that's 
planned out is the best way to go. <laughs> she was so instrumental with me, you know, and my husband and getting us together and going down the sturdy way. I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to figure something out. I suppose I'd best. I think my record player is turning out a little too loud. Stand here, your music. I guess I'll go turn it off. You all enjoy yourselves now. Well. Maggie, thank you for the haircut. It's nice that you did that. Even if some people didn't seem to notice at all. I always try to make sure you look your best. <laughs> Maggie, you have such a good talent with that. Proud of you, girl. Proud of you. Your affection means everything to me, Mama. I just gotta say, if Maggie's gonna end up looking like her mama, things only get better. <laughs> I don't know who that was for, more, Mama. I, I don't either, but I'm oh. pretty good. <laughs> oh. oh, Ma, I think I'm crimson. I think he's got a tongue that's just. Oh, uh, well, you know, it's just all this wine here. I just think it's so funny that the, the name wine things you can't pronounce when you've drunk a whole bottle of it. Sauvignon Blanc. I guess I did better than I thought I would. <laughs> I'll make sure your tongue doesn't get too loose, <laughs> Stan. Oh, uh, well, I don't put too many limitations on what I might say and what I might not say. I just look at the world and say what seems right. Well, just the other day I was in town and I saw a man treating his wife very poorly. And I went up and I said, that's no way to treat a lady. You treat a lady with a caress. You give her a drink, you buy her flowers, you show her a good time. And then I kissed that man's wife right in front of him. <laughs> oh my goodness! So, he took a oh, swing at me. Well, <laughs> isn't this like the good old days? Oh, my shaver! Oh, is this a Jackson High reunion? I don't. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> he is. Oh, Are you telling that story again? <laughs> well, look, when you got a good story, you got to spin it. Oh, you know you got to get in the papers, son. Mm. <laughs> I do have a way with the keyboard, the typewriter. The keys, the, the letters, <laughs> the clickety-clack. Isn't this so great for all that together? Mama, it's just like old time. Oh, Mrs. Magandine. Oh, how are you been lovely as ever? Oh, thank you. Uh, Why is that Jackson I hear? Dorothy as I live and breathe. Jackson in my own home, I could die. Oh, Dorothy. Oh, 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 oh. oh I, I miss you. Oh, I miss you all this time. I've been clicking my heels waiting to come back to you, Dorothy. Oh, it's great oh. to see you home. Oh, it's good. It's good. I just had a break from oh. school, you know. Oh, yeah. yeah. How's that school going? Oh, well, you know, it's always quite a, quite a ruckus, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, there's always something very, very appealing about a well-educated man. Ah, uh, well, I mean, some call it well-education, but other people can make feel like it's stuck in a little hole. Well. You gotta get out of the hole every once in a while, make your legs work. This is an occasion, and I have a bottle. I shall return as soon as I find it. Oh, oh, well, the old crowd back together again. You look beautiful. Oh, thank you, sir. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's so nice. Oh, you did you know such a said? wonderful oh, job. As soon as you came in the room, brought in my day. Oh, you were always the sweetest, kindest. Oh, and my daughter did her hair. Oh, mm -hmm. is this your handiwork? <laughs> well, my, 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 Maggie, 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 Maggie. Oh, oh. Oh. oh, I feel like I'm 16 again. <laughs> no, me too. No actions like you were when you were 16. Oh, what? No oh. studying? No oh. studying, right? We, I just went to church, Mama. <laughs> Somehow I have a feeling there was a lot going on in that church. A lot of laying on the head. Who showed up, John? 
Good to see you again. 